All right, go common stun for it's time to head off to Green Earth in its best nation theme out of all of the nations in this series. Ooh. Would you look at that, Eagle? It seems as though Gold Comet and Blue Moon have our common foe. The old, gave the, our common foe the old heave ho. I guess that leaves Green Earth. Indeed, and we're in for some rough seas. Over half our country is under enemy control. Indeed. Right, and it's about time we took it back, Drake. So, you're finally ready to launch a counteroffensive. Looks like you'll need me to lend a hand. There she is. Our girl has finally made it here. It's time to finally get introduced to Jess. Jess, you're back. Yes, I am. I couldn't continue my training abroad knowing my homeland is in danger. The timing couldn't have been better. It, it's become a ground war, and neither Eagle nor I are any good at that. Stop flattering her, Drake. You, you didn't come now just to make a flashy entrance, did you? What? What did you say? Stow it, Eagle. The enemy took us by surprise, nothing more. I could have liberated Green Earth on my own even if you hadn't come back. Just don't mind him, he's just in a bad mood. Well, in any case, we'll take all the help we can get. Jess, don't let me down. Commander. Nice seeing you too, Commander. <laughs> I must say, with Eagle in the sky, he's me at sea, and you on the ground, we're nigh invincible. Let's go get our country back. Uh, I can never tell you how much I love Green Earth's theme. Alright, Mission 25, Sea Fortress, Mission 26, Strikes Dilemma, and Mission 27, Sinking Feeling. As much as I would love to jump right into Jess's mission so we can get introduced to her, she's got to wait a little bit. Instead, we're going to go start off with probably one of my favorite missions in the game, and probably my favorite Green Earth mission in all of Advance Wars 2, the Sea Fortress. A mysterious fortress has emerged in the sea. The Green Earth Air Force has assembled to crush it. Uh. Adder, the completion of the fortress is proceeding on schedule, correct? Mm. Of course, we're right on schedule. Not a single delay. And what about the mini cannons? All eight of them have been constructed on the site you selected. It's a flawless defense system. <laughs> then all is well. Perhaps you have not failed me this time. We have reports of a large green earth force heading this way. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I estimate they'd be approaching about this time. They're all air units, I presume. Uh, hold on. Uh, I think so, sir. Nothing but air units, sir. How predictable. Deploy our troops immediately. Yes, sir. So that's their plan. They're building the Sea Fortress. Attention all aircraft. Proceed towards the structure and open fire. Oh no. Sir, this isn't looking good. Sir? There are anti-aircraft units everywhere. Should we really proceed? What? They must have known we were coming. You're in a bind, Eagle. If we retreat, we allow them to continue constructing their fortress here. Green Earth would suffer the consequences. If we press our attack, we might win, but the casualties will be enormous. If you'll allow me, sir, I would advise we continue the attack. Uh. But... We're Green Earth's strongest force, and we do not back down from a threat. That's what you always tell us, isn't it? He's right, sir. We won't retreat from the likes of Black Hole, and we certainly can't sit by and let them complete that fortress either. Let's hit him, Commander. Come on, sir. <laughs> My soldiers. I truly do have the greatest in the world. Let's give them a show of power they won't soon forget. I really love that interaction between Eagle and his troops. It just really shows like a good bond that he has with his forces. All right, so one of the most unique missions in this, we have nothing but air units. We got a whole bunch of battlecopters. We got a couple of squadrons of fighters and a whole bomber fleet at our disposal. And I do mean disposal. There is no way we can reinforce any lost units. In the meantime, as you can see, Hawk has some pretty beefy defenses. He's got a couple of missile units. He's got a lot of black cannons, eight in total, as the cutscene told us. He's got some battlecopters, as well as a couple of cruisers sitting down here in the back. Our mission, all we have to do, destroy all the cannons to take out the fortress. 
But before we do that, let's go over our new CEO that we got introduced to. Well, both of them, actually. Eagle, the king in disguise who joined the Air Force to honor his father's legacy. His air units are matchless, but he has weak naval units. Eagle's air units gain plus 15 to their firepower and plus 10 to defense, and lose two less fuel per day. But all naval units suffer 30, uh, minus 30 to firepower. His likes are his lucky goggles, and his dislikes are swimming. Alright. His seal power, Lightning Drive, brought back from the first Advanced Wars game, however, slightly nerfed in this game. And by slightly, I mean heavily. Lightning Drive, Eagle's air units gain plus 15 to firepower and plus 20 to defense, and his air units gain plus 10 to defense. You might notice something's missing from Lightning Drive. It's the fact that it's not allowing all his vehicle units to move again. That was actually moved over to Super Seal Power of Lightning Strike. Eagle's non-foot soldier units can move and fire again. His air units gain plus 15 to firepower and plus 20 to defense, and it's basically the same except for the fact that his units can move uh, twice in a row. Eagle has what would arguably be arguably be one of the most costly Seal Power meters in the in the series. With the fact that while it does only take three bars to fill for lightning drive, lightning strike it takes six, so that's nine total you're going to get if you want to move again. And speaking of long CO power bars, Hawk, the, appo uh, the appointed leader of Black Hole COs, he has a Machiavellian streak and will stop at nothing to achieve his goals. All his units gain plus ten to firepower. His likes are black coffee, and his dislikes are, are incompetence, and from that look on his face, he really could use some coffee right about now. His suit power is black wave. All enemy units suffer 1 HP of damage. Additionally, all of Hawk's units gain 1 HP uh, of health back, and they also gain plus 10 defense. And then his super seal power is black storm. Hawk's units recover 2 HP of health and gain plus 10 to defense, and enemies suffer a 2 HP loss. Hawk's uh, seal bar, again, one of the biggest in the series. It, it takes forever for his seal bar to charge uh, full for super seal power, but once he's able to unleash it, it is actually one of the most devastating super seal powers in the series, in my opinion. All right, that being said, let's get our fleet moving away. Let's also just see where everybody is going to be able to deploy. So we don't want to go right across this line, so let's start moving everybody accordingly. Get our battlecopters into position. We're gonna get our fighters into position to intercept Hawks fighters. You do not want to be very gun ho in this mission. You definitely want to keep track of where the enemy's uh, range is and plan accordingly to it. Because you definitely want to save your bombers for when you get to the Sea Fortress so they can deal maximum firepower to those defenses as well as those cannons. Because the bombers are basically going to be our MVPs for this mission. God, it's terrifying just seeing how many dots are underneath Hawk's portrait. Fighters go right there, so we shall use this as our cutoff line. And let's start dealing with this first wave of fighters. Now, what's interesting about this mission is not really in the campaign mission itself for the main campaign, but more so in its challenge campaign. Because this mission, instead of uh, being played horizontally, it's actually flipped vertically. And you also gain access to naval units as well. I believe uh, Eagle gets two cruisers in this mission to help with the air, de uh, air defense. So it's a very interesting uh, level, I will say. Alright, 
This, this first offensive wave is pretty much nothing to really worry about. I do want to know, what is the range of the mini cannons? Okay, right up to this line. And I don't think we have to worry about the cruisers just yet. Takes care of uh, the first defense wave. Let's get our bombers up into position. Alright, and let's see what Hawk's gonna do. how you like to proceed and so be it prepare to be destroyed oh wow i just realized we did so much damage to hawks units that he basically about has a super seal power ready to go Hopefully, this should be enough to uh, provide an opening for this fighter squadron to move in and wipe out this other fighter squadron. And now, basically, our fighters are somewhat useless during this mission because I don't think he has any other... No, he's got a couple more battlecopters to deal with, so the fighters are still got a little bit of use left in them. Damn, one of the bombers is going to get hit. Well, this is going to hurt. And I think one of my fighters is going to get hit by the cannon at the base of the fortress. Oh, no, it's going to hit get hit by both of them. Really? You're going... Okay. Now, see, that's what I figured you were going to do. Okay, let's check where the... Okay, they can target right there. And hey, we got our Super Seal power ready to go, so I think it's time to go spread the, the pain.
All right, there goes the last of his naval units. Put one right here. Ready for attack. Lightning strike. All right, this is where the fun begins. Okay, now the fighters are basically useless. So close. First wave of missiles is done for. We should be able to handle the second wave, no problem. And I'll just keep those spiders back there. Okay, this is gonna hurt. Are you prepared? Black Storm.
such a painful sound. I was kind of hoping that we'd at least be able to save one bomber. I'm gonna keep my fighters there just to take the the cannon pressure off of them. We need to deal with you guys first. Just hoping that we can not lose the entire fleet. I highly doubt that, bad, Hawk. Granted, your cannons are doing a number of my forces. down. 
And I'm just going to keep everybody where they are at the moment. At this point, what defenses? I've already breached them. I'm, I'm behind them at this point, Hawk. And also, I just destroyed them. So, yes, I did breach your defenses. The mini cannons, they're all. <gasps> They've been destroyed? That's it then. We shall withdraw. We've won, sir. Huzzah! Well, how about that? And it looks like as though the enemy has already abandoned their newly built fortress. Shall we launch a pursuit, sir? Not this time. Let's see what the fortress they left behind first. Yes, sir. You have my gratitude. It was your bravery that led me, led us, to victory. Thank you. We appreciate that. <laughs> this is only the beginning. There are many battles ahead before we can drag this menace from Green Earth. Yes, sir. No problem, sir. As long as you're in command, we can't lose. Victory is my destiny. Hey, S rank, even though we did. I'm surprised Technique did not hit as hard as it actually did with the fact that we lost a bomber and a couple fighter squadrons. Hmm. 